Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephen Dunn with Core Therapy and Pilates. I wanted to answer a quick question. Um, I had a patient that today and they were asking some questions about why they were having numbness and tingling in their leg and why they were having weakness in their leg with their back pain and they have an issue with their disc and they have an issue with the nerve that runs down the leg. So I just wanted to answer that real question answer that question real quick. And so I have a, a stack of pens here and pencils and whatnot and I want you to think about that the nerve that's once it runs out of your neck or runs down out of your back and down your leg that that nerve is a, a basically like a rope or a hose like a water hose but within that water hose there's a bunch of these little bitty what we call tracks and those tracks are running in the nerve okay and each one of these little tracks in the nerve is going to create a different type of sensation or a different has a different job in the nerve let me say it that way so let's just say that this is your bundle of nerves here and this sharpie right here is getting pinched well if the sharpie is getting pinched by the bulging disc or by the um, a tight muscle or by a stenosis where there's not enough space well let's say that that track is going to give you weakness or strength well if it's pinching you're going to have some weakness because that's the part of the nerve that's controlling motor control now let's say that gr this green piece this green marker right here if you're getting pinched there you might have numbness and tingling down into your foot or leg if we were to pinch this red pin right here maybe you can't tell the difference between hot or cold so if you were to put your your foot on something hot you wouldn't notice if it was hot or cold um, if we were to pinch this little red guy here maybe you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between sharp or dull um, so that's why you can have so many different types of symptoms with nerve symptoms or with bulging disc or with a, a disc injury so depending on where you're getting pinched again hot cold sharp dull pain weakness all of those things are going to be control are, are going to be determined by which layer or which piece of that uh, track is being pinched so when we talk about the back the as the nerve exits the nerve root it can be getting pinched by a bulging disc that's hitting that nerve there can be a stenosis which means that they normally have the space this amount of space for the nerve to go through all of a sudden it's really tight and there's not enough space that can be pinching the nerve but you can also have a tightness of your hip flexor pinching the nerve or a tightness of the piriformis pinching the nerve or one of your glute muscles or as it goes down the chain one of your hamstrings or a calf muscle or whatever so depending on where you're getting pinched and which part of the nerve is getting compromised will determine what kind of symptoms you're having what kind of weakness that you're having if someone has a drop foot and are not able to lift their foot up when they swing the leg through it doesn't have anything to do with the foot it has to do with the nerve connection from the back to that foot to that muscle called the anterior tibialis so I just want to go over that with you today I thought that might um, help some people get a little better understanding of the anatomy of the nerve um, because when I explained it to my client today they they were really uh, appreciative and it made a lot of sense so if you have any questions put them below I'd be happy to answer if you have any questions about anything this or anything else I'd be happy to do a video and, and answer your questions uh, and thanks for the for you guys that have hopped on I can't see who you are but thanks for watching and uh, we will see y'all soon